paradise will never be the same after Monday night's episode. During what was likely the most dramatic episode of Bachelor in Paradise ever, one man was taken away via ambulance, another guy left the beach in a huff, a surprise arrival allowed a fan favorite to stick around, a love triangle finally fell apart, and that was all before the season's big twist played out. The drama started when Casey decided to tell Brittany about Peter's negative comments towards her after their date. When the fallout of that decision was greater than Casey expected, he passed out and was taken away via ambulance. Peter didn't last much longer on the beach after that. Elsewhere, Michael was sure he was going home, but a new arrival breathed new hope into him. Not all the guys were as lucky though, as Shanae ended her love triangle once and for all. The vibe on the beach was finally good the next morning, but host Jesse Palmer sent everything crashing down when he announced that the ladies would be leaving the beach, and would be replaced by five new girls. Keep reading for a full recap of episode 6 of Bachelor in Paradise. Casey leaves via ambulance after starting drama with Peter as Genevieve celebrated the f-king awesome feeling of not being in her head for once, Shanae was still torn between Logan and James. She came down to the cocktail party wearing the bracelet Logan gifted her last week, and then had a cute shrimp-themed moment with James, leaving things up in the air. Meanwhile, Casey, fearful that he wouldn't get a rose, decided to take one last shot by telling Brittany the negative way that Peter had been speaking about her since their awkward date. Brittany, who found being called a cloud chaser so disrespectful, decided to confront Peter. The pizzapreneur didn't sugarcoat his feelings, calling Brittany out for their one-sided conversations and telling her that her behavior doesn't add up. Brittany blasted Peter for fishing for compliments, and he responded by calling her a waste of time. It's really funny how men act when they don't get what they want, Brittany said, before walking away. In a confessional, Peter kept the insults coming. Her looks are gonna run out, he said. Doubt she has nothing going for herself other than her posts and that's gonna dry up. After hearing what happened, Jill, Brittany and Genevieve decided to ask Peter to leave. He opted not to do so, around which time Casey started feeling dizzy. I didn't think my actions would have that type of effect, Casey told the cameras. It's just eating me up inside. With that, Casey passed out. Once the medics arrived, Casey said the episode was likely more circumstantial than physical because he got overwhelmed by what was going on. As Casey, who also hurt his ankle in the fall, was taken away to an ambulance, Michael defended his pal's decision to speak out, revealing that Brittany has a history of people spreading false rumors about her and Casey knew that. Once Casey left, Jacob, Rodney, Logan and James decided to ask Peter to leave the beach too. While he did so, he didn't want to make it seem like he was leaving at their request, instead telling the cameras, I gotta be true to myself. There was no girl here that I had physical attraction towards. Brittany had already moved on to Andrew, who praised her for giving him a second wind on the beach. Michael's paradise hopes are renewed as all the drama was going down, Michael was sure his time in paradise was coming to an end after he ended things with Sierra. I'm really sad, he admitted. It's supposed to be different. The Paradise Gods seem to agree, as down to the beach walked Danielle from Nick Vile's season of The Bachelor. Michael and Danielle had previously communicated online, and the gleeful single dad ran up to the new rival, marveling, Danny. Michael wasn't shy about his feelings toward her, telling her that Hess definitely interested. Danielle felt the same and awarded Michael her rose at the ceremony. As for the other roses, Serene's went to Brandon, Jill's to Jacob, Lace's to Rodney, Genevieve's to Aaron, Shanae's to Logan, Victoria's to Johnny, and Brittany's to Andrew, sending Justin and James home. The next day, Danielle revealed that she and Michael first connected online when she found out he was a widower, a feeling she knew all too well as she'd lost her fiancé years before. When she got the date card, she quickly asked Michael to join her, and he happily agreed. I can't hide the excitement. Danielle told the cameras. I look at him and it's just blur gall over my face. The pair set out on a catamaran, and Danielle admitted that she came to paradise hoping to meet Michael. While Michael was clearly delighted to hear that, he was already worrying about the future. On paper, 
Danielle and I are a perfect match, but I've been in love before. I know what that feels like, he said in a confessional, adding that he fears that all of his guards are making him an impossible person to love. During their meal together, things seemed to settle a bit, as Michael opened up about his concerns, and Danielle did the same. The day ended with a kiss, and Michael telling Danielle that it had been the best first date. I'm hopeful, he told the cameras. Maybe it's the last first date of my life. Everything in paradise changes as Michael and Danielle enjoyed their deepening connection, things began falling apart on the beach as Jesse came out with an unwelcome announcement. If any relationship is going to stand the test of time, it has to be able to handle adversity, so your relationships are now going to be put to the test, he said. Stop ladies, you'll be packing your bags because you'll be leaving paradise. You will be spending this week living at a different property. Men, you're going to be staying here and you will not see each other this week. But it's not just time apart that may cause relationship woes. There are also five new girls joining the fray, Jesenia from Matt James season, Sarah, Kate and Eliza from Clayton Etchard season, and Florence, all the way from Australia's Bachelor franchise. An atomic level bomb has dropped of biblical proportions, Aaron said, as Johnny lamented, you don't know where you can look, what you can do, what you can say. Meanwhile, Lace called the situation so f cut up, Genevieve remarked that it's almost funny because it's f king insane, Jill sobbed over what it all meant for her relationship with Jacob, and Serene said that she and the other OG women are ready to burn paradise down. Many of the guys jumped right into flirting with the new girls, much to Kate's delight who hoped ITD be out of sight, out of mind for the men and their initial connection. As for Logan, he seemed conflicted about what to do regarding his relationship with Shanae. Part of me knows I really care for Shanae and getting even doesn't always mean doing the right thing, he said. Dot the question is, what's the right thing to do, and what will I do? Season 8 of Bachelor in Paradise airs Mondays and Tuesdays on ABC. Follow along with ET's coverage of the show to stay up to date on all the drama on the beach. Colon Bachelor in Paradise Season 8 trailer teases romances and drama, exclusive, this video is unavailable because we were unable to load a message from our sponsors. If you are using ad blocking software, please disable it and